Want to learn more stitches for blankets? Then crochet along with me and I will show you how to crochet the para stitch. I'll break down each step so you can create stunning blankets and scarves in no time at all. The para stitch creates a really pretty fabric. It's very slightly lacy and it's a very easy one row repeat. You can use it for all sorts of projects. Today I'm going to be using a five millimeter hook and some Yarn Smith's Pebble Haze Prints double knit. It comes in lots of really pretty colors. Uh, I often like to use a slightly larger hook when I'm making blankets and scarves because you get a nicer drape. So we're going to start by putting a slip knot on our hook and chain a multiple of three. So you just need to keep counting in threes until your project is as wide as you would like it to be. So I'm just going to make a small swatch here today. Now we're going to start by putting a double crochet in the third chain from your hook. So we count one, two, three, put a double crochet in there. We're then going to chain two and put a single crochet into that same stitch. We're now going to skip two stitches, one, two, and put a double crochet into that next one. We'll then put another double crochet, chain two, and a single crochet into that same stitch. So we're just going to repeat this all across. So skip two, two double crochet into the next stitch, chain two, and oops, and a single crochet. So keep going until you get to the end. So I'm at my last three stitches, we're going to skip two and then same as before, put two double crochet, chain two and a single crochet into that last stitch. Then I'm going to chain three and turn. Now this next row is the row that you're going to repeat. So instead of working into the stitches, we're actually going to work into the chain space. So you've got this chain two space right here. So this chain three counts as our first double crochet. Then we're going to put another double crochet into that chain space. Chain two. And a single crochet. We're then going to look for the next chain space. Put two double crochet in there. chain two and single crochet and we're just going to repeat this across two double crochet chain two single crochet keep going until we get to the end Now once you get to the last chain two space, you're going to put two double crochets into there. Chain two. And then instead of putting the single crochet into this chain space, which is the, the traditional way that this stitch is, uh, is done, um, this does give you kind of wavy edges. So I like to put it into the top of the chain three instead. So I just pop that in. The top of that chain three and this will give you much straighter edges so then we will chain three and turn and then we'll just repeat that row until our project is as long as we need it to be and you will end up with something like this and if you enjoyed this stitch then be sure to check out my para stitch crochet gloves tutorial right here on youtube
Bye-bye now.